believe it's six, six plays and some podcasts. The first play was Connected, which was um, about um, a teenage girl who got pregnant. Um, the second was Dear Dee Dee, and that was um, about um, teenage sex. <laughs> the third play was, um, oh, what was the third play? Double the Trouble. Uh, that was about parenting of teenagers. Uh, that's actually probably my favourite of all the white oil plays that I've written. It was um, two 13 year old girls who had a friendship, and um, one of the girls was being a bit feisty at home, and it was about how her mum coped with that. And, um, uh, I, was, I enjoyed that one a lot. Um, then I wrote three plays um, with the ethics of science um, uh, as a basis and that was um, Every Breath about um, uh, animals in medical research, Nobody Lives Forever about stem cell research and um, recently Starfish about clinical trials. Um, I think I think it was to do with the the fun that we had uh, with the production of it. We had two um, actresses that really sparked off each other, um, and they made it really lively and funny. And um, uh, I, and also, it's about parenting at a time when I I think I wrote it not long after I'd become a parent. Uh, so it was you know, quite interesting for me to <laughs> look to the future to be the parent of a teenager, which I am now, in <laughs> fact, but a teenage boy, not a girl. I love it, yeah. It's really interesting. I mean, why touring keep coming up with interesting areas um, for writers to look at? Uh, you know, I'm, I am gobsmacked that I've written three plays that are sci to do with science. I, you know, I would never have dreamed that I would do that. Um, uh, you know, it shows if I can actually write a play about it, then we can engage kids who wouldn't necessarily um, be seen as sort of science students. I mean, I, I guess because I've built this relationship over gosh, you know, like 17 years or something now. Um, so that's different. Uh, that's really nice because, you know, you, you get to know the person that you're working with, which is, you know, quite often Nigel. Um, and you get kind of shorthand of working together but where you don't need to sort of spell everything out. You know, <laughs> so that's great. And, and they do have this fantastic process of bringing together a group of experts for a workshop day and um, kind of giving you a lot of information and a lot of help right at the beginning of the process, which, you know, is a great kickstart um, for any writer. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> or, yeah, I mean, if I haven't, it's not because of my touring. It's to do with me. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've, I've certainly grown um, in terms of this, this, this sort of work, you know, I, I can, it's, it's much easier for me to narrow uh, uh, an idea down now and I, I kind of I know what works with the audience because I've had quite a lot of experience of it now, so uh, in that sense I've grown. It means something interesting and something that gets you thinking and gets you wanting to talk and discuss with other people. And I just think that the company is really forward thinking and really got a knack for identifying areas of interest which is very um, important when you're dealing with teenagers because they're, you know, very sort of on the button and up to the minute with all this stuff. Uh, I think it's 
it's great that we're still putting live drama into schools and that um, young people have that opportunity to, to be in a room with like real live actors and uh, uh, with you know really high caliber productions that get them all excited and um, and it's about science which is you know seen as a, a very dry subject by a lot of kids they go in and they see these plays which are uh, a bit more sexy than that usually so um, I think it's really exciting and interesting and uh, innovative work.